Hi students, I hope everybody is doing well. So this is the urinary system model we're going to do together. So normally you would do this in lab groups, uh, but since we can't do it like that, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna watch and you're gonna fill in this information and you'll get the same information, whether it's like this or in your lab groups. All right, so let's get started. So this is a urinary system model. So what we have here is I have a measuring cup with some water, it's just some water in there. So what we're gonna do is um, make some dirty blood. So what happens is the kidneys, the nephrons in the kidneys, they clean the blood. Uh, the blood is taken there by blood vessels. They go through the nephrons, that process, and your kidneys clean your blood. So the waste goes out, you urinate it out. That's the waste when you go to the bathroom. The good stuff is kept and taken back um, and put back into the blood to be circulated throughout our bodies by the blood cells, the cardiovascular system. So I'm gonna add some stuff to this water and this model is going to show you how some um, of the stuff I add to this water, some of it is waste, all right? It's going to leave the body and some of it's the good stuff. Your body's going to keep it and return it to the blood, the cardiovascular system. So I'm gonna add first, um, some iodine to the water, and this is iodine, you know, from the store. All right, we've used iodine before, and iodine turns the water like yellowish, brownish. We can see. I'm gonna add some yellow food coloring, just like that, so it looks even more yellow, kind of orangey right now. And then we're gonna add some cornstarch, and this is just from the store. It's cornstarch. So we use this in the kitchen. Um, your parents may use this to thicken up um, sauces. Okay, so you add some cornstarch, some water, and then you add it to like a sauce and it thickens it up. And I'm running low, so I'm kind of scraping the bottom of the box here. You see it's a white powder. I'm just trying to be very careful because it does get um, it's a very loose, light powder. Okay, so I can kind of make a mess. So I'm pouring some in there and I have some more. All right, but you see it's turning kind of brownish now. So remember towards the beginning of the school year, we studied carbohydrates, those complex carbs, those starches. So remember, corn starch is an, in, or uh, iodine rather, iodine is an indicator for starch. And this is corn starch. All right, so remember, we added it to apples and a ripe banana and an unripe banana. And where it turned this color like dark, purplish, blue, black, that's where the starch was. So that iodine we added, um, it's turning the starch that I added. This dark uh, looks quite black, you know, but um, if we um, diluted this, it may look more purplish like it did during the activity we did. All right, so this represents the blood going to the kidneys. The kidneys are going to clean this. The kidneys are gonna clean this water. So what I have here is a beaker. I have a beaker, right? And then a funnel. And this is just a coffee filter. So I don't have real filter paper here at home, um, but filter paper, it's a circle and it's paper like this. And to make this paper fit into the funnel, it's very easy. This is a good skill to have for high school too. So you take the filter paper and you fold it in half like this. And this paper is flimsy, it's a coffee filter. Okay, real filter paper would be a little thicker. Um, but this will work almost just as good. So you fold it in half and then you fold it in half again. So it makes this shape. And then when you open it, you wanna make sure you don't open it like this, all right? That's not useful. You make three sides, three layers, go to one side, and the one stays on the other side, so you have this um, like cone, see? And you put whatever you want in there, and it filters, okay? So we're separating a mixture here. we 
separating a mixture. So we put that in the in the funnel. The funnel goes in to the beaker, and we're going to put this brown water into. We're going to pour it into the funnel. So um, the filter paper is going to catch some things, and then some things are going to uh, go through the filter paper into the funnel into the bottom of the beaker. So we'll see what the uh, paper catches and we'll see what goes through. Okay, so we have the filter paper in the funnel in the clean beaker. Okay, so I'm going to slowly pour the dirty water from the measuring cup into the filter. So remember, this represents the urinary system what's happening in the kidneys. So the filter paper is going to capture some parts of this dirty water um, and it's going to let other parts of it go through. So it's separating. It's separating what it needs to keep in the body from what needs to be released as waste, okay, through the ureters down to the bladder. And then you go to the bathroom and you urinate out the waste. So we can see here um, some dark residue in the filter paper in the funnel. And what's being dropped into the beaker is yellow water. So that looks very much like urine. So that's why I added the yellow food coloring. I can put a little bit more in. And in your lab groups, you would do this until you know all the dirty uh, water um, was poured into the filter paper and the funnel, but we can stop there. It's just going to be way more uh, yellow liquid um, in the beaker, right? So you can see the drops, the waves, the drops are making. That's a little mesmerizing. All right, very nice. So we can put this to the side and we can answer some of those questions. All right, so taking a look back at your worksheet, Right here, the model, all right? So the urinary model for the cup one, um, it was empty, that was my beaker. That was my beaker. So observations of the contents after filtration. So after filtration, there's yellow liquid in the beaker. Okay, so we can write that in. So yellow liquid. And then we'll come back and we'll figure out which, or, which urinary organ each of these represents. So the cup one at the beginning was empty. Okay, now it's full of yellow liquid. That's the urine. Think about where the urine is kept until we expel it. Okay, so the coffee filter paper before is empty. After, it has that purplish, it looks more purple now. There we go. Purplish residue in it. Yeah, okay, so... Purple residue. All right, and think about which urinary organ that represents. Okay, the filter paper. Okay, the filter paper itself. What do you think the filter paper represents? That part of the urinary system. All right, and then cup two. These, this contain the contents of the dirty blood. So that was this. That was this. So the water, cornstarch, iodine, yellow food coloring, that's that yellow that was separated. So before, it looks kind of brownish. If I tilt it, it kind of looks greenish. Maybe you can see that. I can see that at home. So definitely brownish liquid. All right. And then after, think about what that represents. So the part of the urinary system. Think about the kidneys, the nephrons in the kidneys. Think about the bladder. That's like the holding tank for the urine. All right. And think about the, the, the kidneys, the whole purpose of the nephrons and the kidneys. They clean the blood. They clean the blood. So this is a blood that comes to the kidneys. And think about what happened. The filter paper captured the purplish residue. All right, think about the cornstarch and the iodine. That's what it captured. Okay, and it let through the yellow. It let through the yellow. So that yellow liquid 
obviously that's urine. So think about which organ that represents. That would be the bladder. And the nervous system, you just finished studying that, closely connected with all of these other organ systems we're talking about. So there's nerve cells, there's neurons that hook up to your bladder. And you know when your bladder is full, you get that feeling, you have to use the bathroom. All right, so the coffee filter paper, think about what that represents. It's doing the filtering. That dirty blood is going through the filter paper and the filter paper is keeping what it wants and letting through the waste. Okay, so the filter paper represents the kidneys. And then more specifically, the nephrons in the kidneys. When you do your sketch next, you're gonna sketch these nephrons and their structure, the shape they are. And then cup two, so think about this, the, the, the brownish, greenish, purplish, okay? So after, think about pouring all this in, okay? Think about what that would represent, okay? This represents the blood coming into the kidney to be cleaned. Okay, so that cup represents the blood. Okay, the blood vessels. Bringing the blood to the kidneys to be cleaned. So the yellow, that's urine, bladder, filter paper, the nephrons. See, they're keeping what they want. Okay, and this cup, measuring cup, the blood, bringing the, the blood vessels, bringing the dirty blood to be cleaned. So question number one, what do the contents remaining behind in the filter represent? This is what your body's keeping. This is the good stuff. Think about the good stuff in your blood, like the nutrients, the glucose, the oxygen, the white blood cells that help to fight off infection. That's the good stuff. So write in the good stuff. Your body's keeping that. And that's what the filter filtered. See, the good stuff stays in your body. The bad stuff, that's the urine. Okay, so number two, how does this model simulate the role of the kidneys? So the filter, the filter caught the good stuff. Remember, that's the white blood cells, the oxygen, the nutrients, everything besides the waste. And it's separated, and the waste was separated. And waste was separated. So it kept the good and got rid of the waste, the bad. And that's what you urine out. So if the model you built were a real urinary system, what would happen to the residue that's left behind in the coffee filter? See, this is what the nephrons kept. They're keeping it. So that residue, that residue is sent back, is returned, is returned to the blood where it circulates your body. It circulates your body throughout your body, delivering that good stuff what's needed. Then that waste goes down through your ureters to your bladder, and then you urinate it out. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. Make sure to write this information down, and I hope you all have a very good day, and I hope to see you soon.